Good morning, folks. Well, what can I say? After this video, I'm going to the store for supplies. Now we have a quadruple impact coming. Amidst the 10 X-Class solar flares over the last few days, four strong CMEs are currently on their way to Earth. Yesterday was the first time in seven years I had to make three separate videos in one day. We started the morning with one CME on the way. By midday, it was two and maybe a third. And last night, we shared the data indicating that for sure, there were three CMEs on their way here. In this video, we will see the fourth, another X-Class solar flare releasing towards the Earth. We'll see the first three on SOHO, the last one on Stereo, and we'll see the endless spiral updated with two of these. We'll start with SOHO. Each of those first three CMEs is labeled. We're going to go through this twice. These eruptions are full halo coronal mass ejections of plasma from the solar flares. All three will hit this weekend. The last one from the last and largest flare you see here on the X-ray flux chart occurred this morning. Hard to miss. And the same coronal rippling outward from the shock wave of the blast can be seen. Folks, the Stereo A coronagraph isn't as pretty, but it does often update faster. That is the fourth full halo event from this morning. Only the first frame one image is updated on SOHO, but so far, it also appears to show that full halo eruption. And that makes four. The Enlil spiral is lagging behind the most. Only the first two events are shown. But whoa, that's a powerful impact. Extreme density and very fast plasma speed, and don't forget, they're going to need to add two more to this model. We do indeed have four CMEs heading this way, and the geomagnetic storms will be strong. I'll modify the forecast I gave last night, which will still need to be updated again when the endless spirals get all four events on there. We should take level three or four storms, KP7 or 8, and I have very strong confidence in that. There is now very little chance it'll be a lower level event, and I have upped the chances for a level 5 storm, KP9, from 10% last night to 15% this morning. I've also taken up the kill shot potential of this event from 5% last night to 8 to 10% now. This is the highest risk I have ever given for any space weather event, and although the chances are still low of this being the event that they call the solar kill shot, the global EMP, the one that takes away our civilization, I'm still heading to the store for extra supplies. I will be back in a few hours, and I will be updating all of this information, hopefully with all four CMEs on SOHO, hopefully with all four CMEs on the Enlil Spiral, and I will further explain the kill shot and what we should expect this weekend when they arrive, meteorologically, seismologically, physiologically, psychologically, and technologically. We greatly appreciate your support. I'll see you in a few hours right here but right now at 6 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone